Alrighty boys, so today, I made a list of these underrated Roblox games, and in this video, I'll be playing these games, reviewing them, and then ranking them in a tier list. And the first game we have is called Block Tales. To summarize, Block Tales is a turn-based multiplayer RPG inspired by Paper Mario 64 and Earthbound. And the first time I joined this game, I was awoken by this penguin guy looking here, and once this guy kicked me out the bed, I went into the hallways, then outside, and headed straight for my objective. Let's walk over here to a Roblox HQ, find Shetletsky. Alright, so let's do that. Also, there's some, like, random guy in here. I don't know what that guy's problem is. I'm pretty sure I can actually uh, dash or something away from him. Oh, shoot. Three guys. And okay, plus the ball and enemy sit us. The second hit always does one damage. Ooh. Guys, if I press space right when it hits, I actually get the ball back. Perfect. You won. You're 9 XP and 9 ticks. So after finding a few more of the enemies, I encountered this red and blue guy over here. By using the items I collected, such as this bomb that I collected earlier, I was able to do some pretty good damage. But long story short, I eliminated the blue guy first, ate this Chesberg for more health, and then defeated the red guy. You won. 20 XP and 6 ticks. Crap, this isn't good. Ow, what the heck, man? Red, you gotta do something about this. Come on, break for it, and it, and it looks like they're gonna run away. Ugh, my head, ugh. Sword fight on height, sword, some other stuff, dude. I got a wooden sword! Not only do I have this ball attack, I can now swing this thing, yes! So after acquiring the sword, I broke the punks outside of Roblox HQ. I then eliminate a ton of these enemies. Oh, and by the way, they have fishing in this game. Any game that has fishing is already a 10 out of 10. Red and blue guy are back! Oh my goodness, I have to fight these guys now. Nice dodge! Nice! And I got so much XP from that! Level up. Select one to upgrade. I think I like HP a little bit more. I'll probably go in order as I like level them up, so let me get that. Ugh, owie, dot dot dot. Red, come on. This isn't over, we'll be back. Is this guy okay? I think he's just dead. So that was Block Tales. And let's talk about the gameplay first. I really like the style of the game, how it's an open world RPG. I also love the NPCs, exploring the area, and finding cool things. One thing I enjoyed was the combat mechanic. It felt very fun and engaging. I also love the visuals and audios to the game. It looks like a lot of time and effort was put into it, especially with the animations. Overall, I think this game is amazing. If I had to rank it in a tier list, let me just put it in the S tier. And boys, our next game is called Anarchy Chess. This game is basically chess, but with a twist. The game is multiplayer, and it gets pretty chaotic. As we spawn into the game, you might be spectating or waiting intermission, but shortly, a new game will start, and this is where you vote for the game mode. Oh, here we go! Let's say I'm black right now. Maybe because my Roblox character is black, I don't know. And guys, this is what I'm talking about. This is Anarchy Chess. The chessboard is so small, right? This person wants to move over here. Okay, got you. Oh wait, this guy's gonna die. But I can actually kill him after! Chat! I can kill this guy after! Huh? Wait, what's happening? Bro! Okay, I don't know why I couldn't kill that guy. Maybe the, the king was, like, exposed or something. Dude, I don't know. Okay, how do we win this, chat? How do we win this? Apparently, these guys want me to move back, chat. Apparently, they want me to move back. Oh, apparently, I'm a queen now. What? Yo, on God, let's just get this person. I don't care. On God. Let's go one for one, chat. Let's go one for one. I think that might be a good strategy, because then, like, uh... Because then my team can actually use it. Okay, these guys just exploded! Oh, and this guy just died! And that's it, chat. That is it. It's intermission right now. Oh my goodness. Later. We're in a game right now. Here's the minefield. If you touch it, then this thing will explode. Look, if someone touches that, these three pieces die, chat. And okay, this guy says to let me blunder. Oh, this guy just killed everyone! <laughs> this is like, dude. <laughs> oh my goodness, chat. That's actually so cooked. That is so cooked. How come we have a mine here, but they don't? 
And okay, this white guy is gonna attack him. Oh, but he didn't step on the mine. Oh, this is so smart. This is so smart. Look at that. But okay, um, this person is, uh, is that a sniper rifle right there? Okay, apparently this guy has a sniper now. He just shot that person. That's a one for one right there. That's fine. We should probably move the queen, chat. Our king is right there, dude. The queen is dead. Oh my goodness, chat. Oh my goodness, king. Um, you gotta move somewhere, bro. This guy, this guy's trying to explode everyone, <laughs> and I'm gonna die now. Oh my goodness, chat. That is actually so sad. So that was Anarchy Chess, a hilarious and fun way to play chess, but with a twist. When it comes to the gameplay, it kind of depends on the game mode that you have. For example, I was literally on that tiny board, and the next thing you know, I'm out of minefield. I also love the hilarious events in the game, giving it a chaotic feel to it. Oh! Oh! And as for the objective of the game, it's pretty much win. And overall, very positive thoughts on the game. And if I had to rank it in a tier list, let me just put it in the A tier. And boys, our next game is called Raiding Residence. This game is basically 60 seconds, but it has its own unique mechanics, gameplay, and more. Upon spawning into the game, you can join or create a lobby. During the creation process, you can choose the game mode, number of players, and more. And let's first experience the preparation phase. And okay, looking like there's some sort of like, letter over here. Let's grab that. What we really want are like some uh, very essential items. I'll just show you guys. We have a blueprint, we have a gas mask right there, and an axe. Let's try to get the map though, the map is very useful. It'll help you with your expeditions. Let's grab this backpack here. Gas mask of course. Same with uh, this one flashlight. And then we can grab this axe right over here. After this I'm gonna go get some uh, food and water. Maybe some, like, medical supplies as well. There we go, let's grab some tape, let's grab some more food. Okay, let's just grab water now, chat. Alright, actually pretty good scavenge shot, that was actually really good scavenge. Okay, so let me quickly go over the objective of the game. At the time of recording, there are only four endings. You're trying to get one of these endings by using the resources you have, and one way to get more resources is to go for an expedition. And okay, before anything, let me just close this thing, let me instantly go for an expedition chat. Me personally, I love going to the grocery store just cause like, it's a very convenience. Let's check all these vents in case there might be some sort of creepy guy lurking in the darkness or something. I might as well just grab this flashlight as well. And okay, this thing uh, looks kinda freaky. Let's grab only two food, right? Let's grab this one bug spray here. Oh, that guy jump scared me! Okay, yes, is there any water here? Let me get that one. Let me get one soap. Let me get even more water, more soap. One more water here. Let me grab that and let me go. And guys, every time you go for an expedition, there's always a cooldown. They have to be mindful of that. Let's utilize our computer here as well, which is very useful. We can go over here to see if there's anyone outside, such as this guy here. You have to make sure that the, your vault defenses are charged, or else this guy might enter if this thing is all red. Huh? Who are you? Okay, yes, these are some of the events that's, uh, that might appear. Minus one water for every 12 days. I feel like I should deal with this guy or else he might attack me, so, uh, okay, deal. Alrighty, so over time, these random events may pop up, and some of these events can literally make or break your run. Also, by the way, if you guys ever see this exclamation point on your computer, that means uh, the firewall is low. So let's just charge this thing as we're about to go on an expedition. Make sure we complete this mini game, of course, and not fail it. And now it's fully charged. Perfect. Five minutes later. What? Oh my god, chat. We don't have any water for the corn guy. We're one shot right now. Shoot! Are you kidding? So that was Raiding Residence. Let's talk about the gameplay first. I really like the scavenging and survival aspect of the game, how you need to take care of yourself, but also the bunker. I actually do like the random events and add some variety to the game. Overall, I really enjoyed playing this game. If I had to rank it in a tier list, let me just put it in the A tier. And boys, our next game is called Minus Elevation. 
This game is a roguelike horror game where you need to dive deep as you can into the depths of the facility. Upon joining the game, you're in the main lobby. As you look around your screen, you can see the inventory button, as you can choose to equip some items. These items can range from things such as a plushie, a camera, some goggles, shoes. There are many unique items in the game that serve their own purposes. Looks like someone else is going to join. That's eight people right there. Yo, join quick! Chat, join quick! Join quick! Oh, we left without one guy! Waiting for Delvers, which by the way, we are the Delvers. Okay, what do we want to pick over here? Cultivation, pretty much spawn in another elevator. And guys, we're only on floor one. Every floor we get those cards that spawn in again. It could be different. And yes, this game is pretty much like a button clicking simulator. I don't really know how else to like say this game. That's actually a button right over there, so let's actually click on it, right? That bar just went up. There's actually two buttons right here too. He's gonna click on that. It's gonna go to seven. That's gonna go to eight. Let's just keep going around the area. There's probably a button up here. I'll try to get that. Perfect. It's actually very easy to kind of mess around with these people. Look. I used a camera, now he's stunned. But he's only stunned for a bit, so you have to be careful. And okay, the thing about this game, you really have to watch out for your stamina, because you only have a limited amount. You can, however, get some items, like maybe a burger, like a floor burger, to gain some stamina, right? And also you have like a battery as well, right chat? This thing right here. As you guys just saw, the objective of the game is basically clicking on the buttons. However, you also have to avoid all the threats out there to kill you. But anyways, I traverse deeper and deeper down a facility, and unfortunately, a lot of my team has fallen. Please get away from me, you clown! Dude! Enemies are everywhere! Bro, stop chasing me! Oh my god, let me let me eat this lemon. I got a lemon buff. I don't really know what a lemon does. Alright, we know that there's an elevator right here. So let's just go there quickly. Get away from me, please! Mm, Let's eat the cheeseburger chat. Oh my goodness, dude. We're only on floor 11, by the way. At least I still have these guys and also my, uh, my plushie. A few moments later. Oh, it's you. Nah, get stunned, bro. Let's just press all these buttons here. Dude, I need to use my burger. Oh! Oh my god, chats. That guy came out of nowhere. He literally jump scared me. Oh, that is so unfortunate. That is, that is actually so sad. So yeah, that was mine as Elevation. I like the idea of the gameplay, how you must click these buttons to advance while avoiding all of the threats. And as for the game's difficulty, I would say the game is kind of hard, but it gets easier once you know what you're doing. Overall, I think this game is very underrated, and if I had to rank it in a tier list, let me just put it in the S tier. And boys, our next game is called a Fighting. This is a class-based third-person shooter, reimagining classic Roblox gears and games with a modern twist. So as I joined the game for the first time, it introduced me to a mini-tutorial, as well as the characters in the game. These characters have their own unique abilities and roles on the team. And after talking to this NPC over here, I enter the game. And already chat fighting, let's do this thing. Let's pick this one Banhammer guy, he, he seems very interesting. And okay, we're gonna go straight into the battle chat, we are here! Oh, I got someone. Let's keep hitting these people. He's a lone HP. Where does he go? Let's go. That's one guy right there. Bonk him in the head. Bro. Come here. Chat, we're actually doing so good right now. This is fighting right now, chat. We're fighting. I'm low on HP. I'm out of here. Let's try to maybe regenerate HP. We're gonna go inside and use our ultimate, chat. I don't even know what that did. Oh, and I'm dead now. Dude, we have to kill 20 enemies to win. Right now we have 10, chat. We have 10. I'm gonna get bombed. Oh, I actually got a kill! Hide behind the rock! Hide behind the rock! Kill him! Where did he go? I'm flying! One minute left and we got a kill. Perfect. 
I don't even know what that did. Nice, that's a kill. One more kill, chat. We need one more. Get this guy. Let's go. So that was fighting. Starting with the gameplay. Love the abilities of the characters, how there's so many of them to choose from. It was fun going up against the enemies, ranging from all sorts of classes. And when it comes to the visuals and audios, I love the look of the game and the animation it has. Overall, I feel like this game deserves all the attention. If it had to rank in a tier list, let me just put it in the S tier. And boys, our last game is called Detriment. This game is a fast-paced adventure game that features varying gameplay styles and abilities set in the world of 2015 to 2016 Roblox. And upon joining the game, you're in a menu screen. And after booting up the tutorial, it introduces you to the main mechanics of the game, such as air dashing, wall jumping, maneuvering, using the jump pads, and more. So as you start your journey, you're in your bedroom. This is where I interacted with my surroundings, and then headed over to my fridge. Long story short, I drink some Bloxy Cola, I pass out on my bed, next thing you know I run out of Bloxy Cola, then headed outside. That's where the journey begins. Now let's talk about the story slash objectives to the game. And it's actually quite simple. Just reach the end of the level while going through all these obstacles. There's also these NPCs here you can choose to speak with, and these NPCs can be useful with their dialogue. One thing I want to mention are the visuals to the game. Love the overall style that it has, and also the amount of NPCs presence. But anyways, after traversing up over here and into this one open ground, I basically had to click on these four buttons, and I was able to open this big gate. And at this point, it's all uphill from here. By using all the mechanics and practice from before, I was able to complete all the obstacles with little problems. It was actually really fun going down here, and eventually, I got to the end. And that was detriment. I feel like this game has great potential, and it's pretty underrated. I think the gameplay is very solid, it's very straightforward and fun. And as for the game's difficulty, it wasn't too hard, but I'm not gonna lie, it did take a little bit of tries though. But overall, I feel like this game is pretty underrated, and if I had to rank it in a tier list, let me just put it in the A tier. Alright, so yeah, that was me playing those underrated Roblox games. Let me know down below in the comments if you guys want to see more, or maybe something else from me. But anyways, people, I'm just done here. If you guys enjoyed, please like, but if you guys didn't, please dislike. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time.